This is one of those videos that I think is quite important when it comes to responsiveness of your images, especially for your page speed performance. Now, I'm going to show you two things that you are probably aware of, but there is a third thing which I think is really important that a lot of you will probably not be aware of. So when you do a section and you pick your image, okay, you might pick an image which is like a horizontal effect, whatever, and it's going to look wonderfully, wonderfully fantastic, right? Uh, but the problem with the image is it might be like a 1920 by 1080 or whatever. When you then go over to mobile, you're probably thinking, well, okay, the image kind of looks okay and I might adjust it a little bit. And you just carry on working on. However, when you get to Page Speed Insights, it's probably going to say to you, your image is too big. You've got like a 1920 image. Yes, it looks okay on the mobile, but you didn't need it to be that big. Remember, in Elementor, you can pick an image, and when you go to the uh, the tablet or the mobile, you can pick an alternate image. So look, it's got this hash gray checkerbox effect going on. If you click that, and you then find your image again, I had this image, which is 1,600 1, by 900 in terms of size. I then put a copy of that image into my media library, like this, and I adjusted it to be 401, by 699 pixels, so smaller width and the height. So I took the height of what it was at the moment and I modified it. Now, how did I do that? I'm going to do it on this image just to show you really, really quick and easy how to do it. Here's the image I've added in again. I'm going to go to edit image and the first thing I'm going to do is scale it. So I'm going to say the height of this will be, say, 700, 699, whatever you want to go for, and I scale it. And once you've scaled it, I then hit back because if you um, if you try to crop it before you come back and then go back in, it won't do it properly. So that is now 700 pixels in height. Look, it's now 1244 by 700. Let's edit the image again. I then go to hit crop, and I'm just going to move this a little bit so I can now see what the selection is. I'm going to go for 400. You could go for 450 if you want, by the way. I, you know, it depends on what size is, 480. So once you've got your side, pick up your paint and adjust it to be where you want it to be, roughly about there. And I'm going to hit crop. And then I'm going to hit save. I now have a copy of my image in a different size. Okay, 478 by 699. I'm now going to insert that into my page. There we go. So on my desktop, I have one image. On my mobile, I have a different image. And this is how you get your page speed score looking good. That is tip one. Tip two is exactly the same as tip one. Okay, so when you come to do your columns, uh, you might pick an image that goes in there. If you notice that your images are too big, when you go, oh, so let's just put an image over here into the style. There we go. In the column, I've added in the same image, center, center, cover. If I now go to mobile, look, in the column, I can put in a different image. Let's do that. Let's pick the smaller version, okay? So we have different sized images. So tip one and tip two are the same in effect, but they're going to help your page speed insight. But now let's get on to tip three. We have an image. Let's now pick uh, one of those. We'll, let's pick the same image again. There we go. So we have our image. Now then, when we get to the mobile, most of the time we're actually going to be okay with that. And we might go, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. But sometimes, because that is a 1,600 pixel image and the size of it, it could get caught by Page Speed Insights again. So how do we modify that? Well, the problem we have now is you don't get the option to pick another image. And at this point, you're going to be scratching your head and going, well, what do we do here now? Because we've only got a desktop image. And what I used to do in the past, and I think others do as well, is you would create a duplicate image. So this image, you would then say, right, in your responsiveness, only show this on the desktop. So in responsive mode, show on desktop or show on the mobile. And you'd have two different images. One's hidden and one is visible. But there is a trick you can do so you don't have to do that. First thing I'm going to do is go back to my media library. Let's go to content and let's click the image. I'm now going to pick the other sized image and I'm just going to copy the URL. So the URL is copied. I'm going to go over to my image and I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go to custom CSS. So look, in the desktop, we have our 1,600 sized image. If we now go over to the mobile, because it's under 500 pixels, it's now put the other sized image. And if I was to increase this, look, when I get over the 500, it switches to the other image. When I go below, it's now the smaller image. So now 
we are kind of condensing the size of the image and the style of it to suit something else. You could literally put in any image you want. So you might have an image which looks great on the desktop and you want a different image for the mobile or the tablet. This is a great tip and a tool and a way to do it. The code for this will be in the description so you can go away and use it. But that's three really easy tips. Tip one and tip two, yeah, they are the same. But tip three, you didn't know about that one. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.